Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's double fist it. Wait, I shouldn't say that, should I? It's like not harsh on my eyes. Oh! <laughs> oh! Welcome to Drown Fine Whiskey. My name is Matt. My name is Rose. And today we're going to try something a little bit different. Rose, you are a whiskey noob, yeah? Yes, definitely a whiskey noob. I know next to nothing about whiskeys. It um, smells like whiskey. It's a bit brown in color. I think uh, the most I've had to do with whiskeys is probably through cocktails. Now you put whiskey in a cocktail, you mix some like nice sweet, some tasty stuff in there. Oh, I, I am I am all there for it. But whiskey by itself is kind of like, this is more his domain. It's a bit of a mystery to me. Okay, so that's why we're gonna try some basic Irish whiskey. So Irish whiskey generally called one of the smoother categories, easier to get to know, and these are the entry level whiskey. So these are the whiskeys that you typically imagine would be the easiest to drink, easiest to get to know. They're not gonna have any unbalanced flavors, anything overly strong. So they should be nice and easy to get to know, but are they all gonna taste the same? Oh, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> So what we're going to do is a blind tasting, but first let's get to know these whiskies. We're going to start with Jameson. It's the classic for a reason. Most people know Jameson. They have been introduced to it. For some people, it'll be their only taste of Irish whiskey. It's very easy to get to know. It's very easy to find. Most stores will carry it. It's a blended whiskey of grain pot still whiskey. So it's going to have a bit of sharpness, a bit of spiciness to it, but they also have a sherry component. So there might be some sweetness and some fruitiness that comes through. There's a lot in there. Yeah. <laughs> Next, we're going to move to Powers. Powers actually comes out of the same distillery as Jameson. So it's the Middleton distillery. But in this blend, they apparently use much more pot still whiskey and they don't use any cherry aging. So you can get more of that spice, more of those dense flavors, but maybe less of the fruitiness. So let's see if there's any difference there. The next of the basic whiskies, and this is also coming partly out of Middleton, is Tullamore Jew. So Tullamore Jew have their own distillery and they make uh, pot still whiskey and malt whiskey at that distillery, but they are sourcing grain whiskey for this blend from Middleton. So, all three of this, these, these whiskies have connections to the same distillery. So we're going to see if any of these whiskies actually taste any different, or if they're just the same whiskey with a different label. Seems like a whiskey family. <laughs> Next, we're going to move away from Middleton Distillery and up to the north of Ireland for Bushmills. This is their white label classic blend. It's their basic blend. It's a blend of single grain and single malt whiskey. Now, apparently, Bushmills says that their malt has a very distinctive fruity taste, so let's again find out if there's anything to that or if it's just marketing. Then we're going to go to Kilbegan. This is coming out of the Kilbegan distillery. It's the oldest distillery in Ireland. They've been working away for a long time. They're part of Beam Suntory. They've been working away for a long time, mainly just producing the one whiskey, but recently they've actually produced a lot of new whiskies, including a single pot still, a rye whiskey, a grain whiskey. So they're coming onto the market now a bit more. And lastly, we're going to go to West Cork. West Cork are whiskey that maybe not everyone will know about. Now they are making a big push, especially into the US market. They've come out with some experimental whiskies. They've come out with a lot of kind of new whiskies. So there's something that you will see on the market very soon. They use a lot of bourbon casks in their aging, fresh bourbon. So apparently there's a lot of vanilla sweetness and a lot of niceness in there. Do you have any questions about these whiskeys or will I start pouring? Uh, it just seems like we're going on a bit of a flavor journey here. We've got spice, there's fruity notes, there's all sorts of notes. I've already forgotten the, what's in Jameson, let alone what's in West Cork, but sure, let's give it a go. Okay, so now you get out of here and I'm going to put these into glasses. <laughs> and thanks to the miracle of movie magic, I'll just have them poured. So, come on back. Now, First impressions, what do you think? It looks like whiskey. Okay, anything else? <laughs> uh, there are different colors for sure. Like some seem to be a little bit lighter than others. Like this one seems to be pretty light, but this one's like pretty dark. This okay. one's kind of dark, but there are a couple like light ones. So it's color mostly. Okay, all right. Well then I guess let's get to tasting it. Ooh. Is there anywhere that I should start from? I think just work maybe this way to that way. Put maybe your favorite whiskey on this side and your least favorite whiskey on this side. Okay. Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay. So, this one seems not like the lightest one of them. Maybe I'm in the row. Ooh. 
it smells nice. It's not like with a super harsh smell or anything like okay. that. Let's see what it is like. Ooh, that is nice. It wasn't okay. harsh going down. It wasn't harsh on the first sip. It wasn't harsh going down. It tasted like quite sweet. Um, let's have another one. Okay, go back for more. It's sweet, kind of like candy mm. in a way. Like it's still got a little bit of the harshness in there, but it's very nice. All right. Oh, I, I need to rate it, so let's put it. It's your favorite so far. So it's my favorite so far. Of the one, one out whiskey, of one. The one whiskey you've had, it's your favorite. It's my favorite, exactly. Okay. Have a smidgen of water first. So, next one. Let's do this one. This one looks dark. Okay. It looks really dark comparatively. Is that scary or? I know, I feel like, I don't know what to feel. I'm not getting a ton. It's not a, like strong or anything like that. Okay. It hit my eyes. It was like the alcohol was in my eyes. It's like a little plain. A little plain. Oh. It's got a little, a little bit of a burn at the end, but it's like very not offensive. It's like easy drinking, maybe. Okay. So how does it compare to the first one? Oh, this one's still much better. Okay, so. So out of my two, it's my second one so far. All right then. Okay. Can I take a little bit of water. Yeah, a little drink. Cleanse the palate. Okay. Next one. Next one. All right. Okay. So this one seems light, All lighter right. than the other one. We'll see. It smells like vanilla. -y. Okay, that's a good note. Yeah. What is it? Whiskey. <laughs> Let's see, it wasn't like too harsh on my eyes. I felt my eyes like ugh, a little bit. Um, that might make the thumbnail that little face of yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's got more complex flavors. Okay. Like it's easy drinking, like it's pretty easy drinking. I'm not like, well, I don't know, I don't taste anything like floral or anything like that. It's got a smidgen more of sweetness, maybe than this last one, which was a little bit more easy drinking. So I'm gonna switch up the ratings a little bit. Okay. So it's my second best so far. Not to say any of these are bad, it's just my second best. Okay. So, next one. I think this might be the darkest. I think it's the darkest color. Right? Well, I like the lightest one so far. The darkest mean it's golden? It might also just have uh, artificial coloring put into it. So uh -huh. you can't really trust the color on like in a typical blended whiskey. Okay. So it's a, are they all blended? They're all blended. Oh, damn. Okay. It smells nice. It smells fruity. Okay. Like, well, I feel like vanilla's. Vanilla will be the most <laughs> common note you get out of these kind of whiskeys. <laughs> okay. Well, it smells like vanilla bean. Oh, okay. vanilla bean. You hear it here. Like, vanilla bean is this one. It's like not harsh on my eyes. Oh! Oh! <laughs> that? I got like a second wind as it was going down, and it was not. The nicest second wind. Okay, you can give it another sip in case that was you. It's harsh. Harsh. Okay, it's, it's too like, spicy or what? What's on? It's spicy okay. for sure. It's got more of like a like a burn kick. A burn kick. Burn kick. Okay. And I can feel it. It like lingers in my mouth. I think it's in my eyes. I feel it in my throat. Okay, so... I think it's at the end so far. Okay. It's too much of like, action for okay. me. <laughs> too much action. Do you think the action's a bad thing or is it just for you? Just for me. I just for you. Okay. Yes. Okay, on to the second last one. Oh gosh, okay, here we go. So, this one, it's not the lightest, it's not the darkest. Okay. Whatever that means. Not much. Oh my gosh! Alright. 
It smells wonderful. Oh, we've got a note beyond uh, vanilla. Beyond, beyond the... vanilla bean. Oh, what have we got? Caramel. Is Caramel. that a real note? It is a real note. Because that's what I smell. Oh my! Oh. That is delicious. It was a little bit on my eyes, so that a little alcoholy bit, but I think that might be just part for the course. That was lovely. It tastes like a caramel cookie. Caramel cookie. Okay, like biscuity grain notes. Mostly a caramel cookie with a lot of caramel on it okay. and sweetness. That's what I'm kind of getting at. I like it. Yeah. Do you think it's your favorite so far? Yes. Okay. Let's scoot these down a little bit. Right then. Wow, that was pretty clear. Oh well, yeah. Last one. Last one? Then I think you might go again and just... Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're excited. Well this is like, well that one, I want to get back to that one. Um, so this one is not the lightest, not the darkest. I'd say it's like in the other... <gasps> A lot of my light ones are okay. front and the dark ones are ending up in the back. Alright. What that means. Maybe I don't nothing. know. <laughs> Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. <laughs> All right. Oh. Okay. And it'll be the best of the dark ones. It smells nice. Nice. It's a good note. Like vanilla bean. Again, vanilla bean again. Okay, which one tastes like vanilla bean? I don't know what this one is. It was one of one of these. One of these. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> So maybe you should compare these two. Oh no, yeah, so okay. Is any one of them better or worse than the other? Or are they just... Let's try. We're going straight to taste. Straight to taste. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's double fist it. Wait, I shouldn't say that, should I? <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Okay, so you seem pretty happy that- Oh no, this is the punch kick! Oh, oh, okay. I'm sorry, this- So these two, oh. down here. <sighs> that was an experience. Okay, so you seem definitive these two are down here. Yes! Okay, what about these next two? Okay, let's retry these. Alright, so we've got our, a lighter one and a darker one. And it seems like the darker ones are ending up on that side. For whatever reason, that might be. Okay. This smells mild. It's got a good, like, intro whiskey mild okay. taste, I think, but there's a good bit of, like, flavor at the end. Now, this one has a little bit more smell to it, comparatively. Okay, but on the taste, though, that is generally more important. Mm -hmm. It's harsher. It's harsher. It's definitely harsher. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well then, yeah. I think... I think that order... So far? I'm gonna keep it that way. So, I'm gonna try this one first. Okay. Let's see, okay. All right, so it's got nice, mild smell. I'm not getting too many extra notes, like with certain whiskeys where it smelled great, and then it was a journey that I did not know I was going to go on. That's nice. Okay, is it better than number three? <gasps> so, this, yes, and I will tell you why. This is better than number three on the taste because throughout the sip, it is lovely. Okay. It has got like a nice mixture of like mild, but just like slightly sweet light. Maybe this is the floral one you're mentioning. I have no idea, but it's nice light, continuous flavor throughout. Okay, so it's consistent flavor. It's consistent. Okay. This one comes at you and it's quite mild, not a ton of 
flavor at the beginning, but then it ends with flavor. Okay. But I feel like my journey isn't consistent when I sip this versus it is consistent. Maybe try number one. Okay. Is it still your favorite? All right, let's find out. Oh, but it's got flavor on the cell. I oh. like that. Okay. Are you angry at that one? Maybe. If you've been punch kicked, would you be angry? That's a question to you. <laughs> if you got punch kicked, would you be angry? Let, let Rose know down in the comments if you'd be angry. <laughs> that is consistent. It is not so mild tasting. Okay. I'm not sure why, maybe it's because I took two sips of it back to back. That could be it. But it's consistent. The flavor is the same flavor throughout. I'm not overwhelmed by alcohol. I'm not overwhelmed by any, I don't know, whatnot. But like, you get the sweetness. Like, that caramel cookie that's just been drizzled in caramel. Okay. I like it. So that's your, that's your favorite? It's my number one. You happy with head with this? I'm gonna lock in my choice. Okay, let's find out what these whiskeys are. Okay, I'm gonna get my little notes here. Oh. Keep a secret from you. So, your last place. Okay. This was number six. Number six. Oh, that was Powers. Powers! Yeah. Really? Because you were saying this was more spicy, you didn't really like that. Yeah. And Powers does have more pot still in it, so it's going to be a bit more spicy. Oh. Okay. Someone might like that. It just wasn't for me. I'm sorry, okay. Powers. Okay. So next up, number four. A Tullamore Jew. <gasps> no! Really? Tullamore Jew. Oh no! Again, now this, the grain whiskey in here comes from the same distillery as Powers, but it's a different distillery. Now it does again have pot still in the blend. Yeah. So maybe that was what you were getting, because you were saying these are both a bit sharp and a bit spicy. Are pot stills typically sharp and spicy? They typically have that spiciness to them. Okay. Okay. So next up was the first of the whiskeys you liked. Okay. Okay. So this is number two. Uh, uh, which is Jameson. No way. Yeah. But like, Jameson's one of the, you go to Jameson when you come to Ireland and everything, it's super recognizable. Yeah, and you said it was kind of nice and fruity. You had like the little sherry notes. Yeah. Through. Nice and fruity. Jameson, it's it's one of the classic whiskeys for a reason. Like, it's a good whiskey. It's not just the one that's the most mass produced. It is yes. easy to enjoy. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this one. Number three, that is Bushmills. <gasps> Really? Yeah. I wasn't expecting that Another one. Another one of like the top blends people kind of just go to. They say it's a bit fruity, a bit distinctive. I always imagine like a man with like a like a like a sailor with a big beard drinks bushmills. Oh. Should I change my job? Don't grow a beard. <laughs> I think don't grow a beard. I want to see that. Okay, next one up. Number one, that is Kilbegan. <gasps> you see Kilbegan at like the store. Yeah, uh, Kilbegan is one of those distilleries that's been kind of quietly working away for years. Like they've had the same whiskey on their kind of on their stocks for ages. But Sarah Dowling, the new head distiller there, well, I say new, she's been out for a while. She's great, and she's put out some really good products. So I think you know, props to Sarah. Okay, she's killing it. Which means number one. I haven't kept track. Okay, I have. <laughs> West Cork. West Cork! West I like Cork. Cork! Yeah, so West Cork are another one of those kind of smaller distilleries. They're making big inroads and I think they use a lot of like new bourbon casks in uh -huh. their whiskey because you were saying that was very sweet, very caramelly. That was wonderful. And those are the notes you typically get out of a bourbon kind of finish. So yeah, I think that's pretty definitive. Yes. That you were able to taste differences between the whiskeys. Yes. And you were able to kind of find a difference between them. Mm -hmm. And a pretty clear difference as well. Okay. So we'd say that the beginners, the whiskeys are maybe heavier on the pot still. Mm -hmm. Not for you. Yeah. For maybe for more people who are whiskey experienced. Whiskey experience. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then we went into the fruitier ones. So Jameson mm -hmm. with that cherry finish, Bushmills with their kind of fruity malt. Yeah. Then we go to fruity ones and then at the top level, bourbon finish, just kind of straight up sweetness. Bourbon, yes. Bourbon, bourbon barrels? Bourbon barrels. Bourbon yeah. barrels is okay. where it's at. All right. Well then, I mean, if you like this video, let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to see Rose try other whiskeys, let us know. If you'd like to see her dance some more. I, I mean... had whiskey, I'm really warm. <laughs> All right, well, I think we're gonna finish up now. We'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.